Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Silver Ninja and we are still going over the game Ant Legion and it's many, 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 many parts. So this event I have been waiting for. It is where you get points by getting uh, snail or civil points. Okay. 25 each. Uh, or getting cell upgrade material uh, points as follows. Now, I've already gotten some just naturally by playing the game here. Uh, and let's see what kind of rewards we're going to get. Even if you can't get to phase 10 and above, uh, even just the first phase, you get 5 AP, you get some healing. I mean, you can go through the list, right? I really want these. Uh... That's it. There's not really much on here. I mean, 2,000 diamonds are nice to have. Uh, building speed is great. And just the normal basic stuff. So nothing super great in here. Remember to claim these before the uh, reset, the daily reset, or you will lose them. Uh, in that case, it's 2 hours and 33 minutes. So this guy comes around about every week or so. I'm going to make this quick. I have an event coming up here, the Territory War. And... So what I've been saving mostly are where are they at here? Are all of my predator uh, boxes? So I've only spent a few of these because I needed the resources. But let's tap on it and see what you get. So you get the shards, the eggs, and here's your snivel and civil and war points. Sometimes you get the upgrade material. Uh, the gear upgrade, but you always get the civil and snail points. So let's use one. Yep, and see what falls here. And it's actually it's pretty random, but thought I'd be more specific than that. I forgot. <laughs> but so we're just going to use all these. Anyway, I leveled up at the same time. Look at that. And we're just going to try and get as many civil ants points. The other time I use this up is when I'm trying to get more shards. Because you do get shards out of these as well. Oh, very nice. Got an upgrade to my... Oh, I did not read what that unlocked. And I've been saving these just to see if it actually counts towards the event. What do we get in this one? Our level 25 box. May drop, may drop, may drop. Alright, why not? Okay. See any drop? Oh, yep, some went up there. Sweet. Alright, now, I've been saving these. I, I don't remember if they account towards the event or not. So let's go check our point value here. Not that one. Regular events. Sell. Okay, so I appeared in the two next phase... 4,225. So let's go see if those actually count. Let me just use up a big chunk of them. And it did. Helped quite a bit. So we're now close to phase seven. So now I feel justified in saving all of these. You get these through various events. I get them through um, the merchants. Just all kinds of random places that these will pop up. Uh, they're pretty common. But now that we know we definitely get points for them, I've been waiting to use these for... since the last one, like I think like a week, week and a half ago. Uh, we'll use this while we're here. There's no reason to save that. And this is new. I don't know what's in here. Oh, more, more potential points for snails. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and spend those then. Uh, this one you get from the uh, slot machine. Uh, and I do get cells out of there, so why not? Let's do that too. Oh, pick one. Uh, we'll do cells. Oop. Uh, pretty sure you get a better value out of that. Oh, that's better. That's when you buy them. All right, so if you're buying them out of the out of one of the exchange shops, it's better to buy the T1 than the T2. 
but in this case, I might as well just grab the, uh, the other time I, ooh, gear revolvers. You can buy gene herbs, you can buy cell herbs, I believe you can buy totem upgrades. You cannot buy gear revolvers, so when you open this box, I highly, highly recommend you do that. So that's not what this video is about, but we're just doing it because we're here. All right, let's see where we're at on that event. Well, that maxed that out pretty quick, didn't it? And where to put me on the rank? Rank 80, look at that. Saving those for a while, let's see. So I will get some golden shards as long as no one puts, pushes me back. Nice, all right, cool. So that was just a quick video on uh, once you get comfortable with your nest progress, uh, don't spend everything right away. Save it for the events. Sa save your cards for and your boxes for getting gears and things like that. Uh, while we're at this event, let's find... I don't remember exactly where they're at, but there's a lot of exchanges, exchange shops where you can buy. So we're going to check all three of these here. Here we go. I've been saving these points as well. Prefer the evolution, and then any remaining goes towards the upgrades. So now I can boost my army. And... I always remember to get your daily supply box. Oop, I can even buy them here, too. I do also save these points for the Mark of Honors. Uh, but right now, I've been wanting to upgrade stuff in my snail pit. So we are going to just buy those. And then I'm not going to buy that now. I'm going to wait until the event where I get points so I can get more rewards, right? I call it maximizing your rewards. Let's check the other shops where we're at, it, shall we? Maybe that's what I should title this video, Maximizing Your Rewards, Snail Points, and Cell Upgrades. Alright. Now, I've already got a full 10. The only reason I'm going further is because I just want to rank higher. Um, if you're happy with your rank, like if I was happy with rank 80, I would save all these points um, for the next event. But I actually do want to upgrade my cells. I do want to upgrade my snail. And it's and it's spendables. Uh, let's see. In the Dark Cavern is the last exchange shop. Let's see what we get here. Uh, how many points do I got? 2,400. I think I will save these. I'd rather get the Gene um, Herb Evolution over the actual upgrades. So I think I'm not gonna spend these points until the gene uh, point event comes around. So we're gonna save those. So let's go take a look and see where we're at now after spending all that. And now as I continue to fight predators and, and do other events, I'll continue to get these upgrades for the next couple hours, depending on how far I go. But, oh look at all that for two more levels. <laughs> But I'm still well within this here, so I'll definitely get um, one of those nice shards and move forward from that. So I don't think I'll get to rank one, not with what I have backed up, and I'm not spending my own personal money on this. So uh, Let's see, last thing I didn't check is the... Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Okay, first, why we're here, always promote, or I mean always donate to the hot button. And not to your own selfish desires. Uh, Alliance shop. Let's see what we got here. Can we get cells out of here? I don't remember. Nope. But we can get gears. So I'm going to save these points for either something I need, like resources or whatever, or for more likely or not the gear upgrades. But not until I need the. Not until I'm about to get the points. So let's see what we can get. From our snail after all those upgrades. I've already got you here. Why not show you? Alright. I already did all the waterings for the day. Snail skill. This is the one I've been wanting. I've been saving up for this bugger. More ants to send to my armies. Alright. Now what can I upgrade? Uh, Army HP. And it's a low level. So let's bring it up a bit. 
HP means that lust will die, I would think. Let's bring you up. Max you out. Mover attack. Okay, now we just save points. I don't need to upgrade the HP of my movers. I don't use them in battle, so. Uh, let's see, anything good here I can do? How much is that going to cost me? March speed. Uh, not a current priority for me. Level 13 is fine. Building speed, I'll do one of those. Water collection. Collecting speed. That'll get my water guys back faster. Though I'd prefer if they have it. They don't. That's okay. We'll do a couple of those. Okay. And research is very beneficial. I'm always researching. Ooh, load. Actually, that's a good one. So next time around, I'll actually do more load. That way I can send less ants to get things. And uh, collection. This one, I'll just max everything out. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the whole point of this was just to go over saving your particular cards or your exchange points um, once your nest is at a level you're comfortable with uh, not growing as fast. So that you can then spend them all at once and you get the benefits of, of just the item you're replenishing. But also get the items... Also get these uh, points that you can get all these rewards. Especially if you're a lower nest and you can't get there easily on your own. But that's it. Alright, well thanks for, ha thanks for watching. Have a great day. And uh, as usual, if you find something else that works better for you, please feel free to share. And uh, till next time, remember to keep it fun.